we want to simplify the given trig expressions. To simplify the expressions, we will convert to sines and cosines using the reciprocal identities shown here below and then perform the indicated operations. For number one, we will convert cosecant x to one over sine x here as well as here. The given expression is equivalent to cosine x minus one over sine x all over one over sine x times cosine x if we want one over sine x times cosine x over one. And now looking at the product in the denominator, nothing simplifies and therefore the product is cosine x over sine x, giving us the quantity cosine x minus one over sine x divided by cosine x over sine x. From here, remember this fraction bar represents division. Instead of dividing by cosine x over sine x, we will multiply it by the reciprocal, which is sine x over cosine x. So we can write this quotient as the quantity cosine x minus one over sine x times the reciprocal of cosine x over sine x, which again is sine x over cosine x. And now we will find this product by distributing sine x over cosine x. Notice we will have two products, one here and one here. The first product is cosine x, or if we want cosine x over one, times sine x over cosine x. And then we have minus one over sine x times sine x over cosine x. Notice here we have a common factor of cosine x between the numerator and denominator. There's one cosine x and cosine x here and here, giving us just one times sine x, which is sine x. And then we have minus, here we have a common factor of sine x between the numerator and denominator. There's one sine x and sine x here and here and therefore the product is one over cosine x and one over cosine x is equal to secant x and therefore the expression simplifies to sine x minus secant x. So let's look at number two on the next slide. For the first step we will convert cotangent x to cosine x over sine x here as well as here in the denominator. So for number two, the given expression is equivalent to the quantity sine x minus cosine x over sine x, all divided by sine x, or if we want sine x over one, times cotangent x, which again is cosine x over sine x. And now let's find the product in the denominator. Notice how we can simplify before multiplying. There's one sine x and sine x here and here, giving us one times cosine x, which is cosine x. So we have sine x minus cosine x over sine x, all over cosine x, if we want cosine x over one. I'm writing cosine x as a fraction because now Instead of dividing by cosine x, we will multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of cosine x is one over cosine x. The given expression is equivalent to the quantity sine x minus cosine x over sine x times one over cosine x. And now we will find this product by distributing one over cosine x. And again, we will have two products. There's one product here and one product here. So multiplying gives us sine x, if we want sine x over one, times one over cosine x. And then we have minus cosine x over sine x, times one over cosine x, 
Notice here nothing simplifies. We have sine x over cosine x, which is equal to tangent x. And then we have minus, here we have a common factor of cosine x between the numerator and denominator. There's one cosine x and cosine x here as well as here, giving us one over sine x. Using the identities, again, sine x divided by cosine x is equal to tangent x. So we have tangent x minus one over sine x is equal to cosecant x. And therefore, the given expression simplifies to tangent x minus cosecant x. I hope you found this helpful.